So here we are at a wild apple tree. I'm gonna go pick some apples. So I'm down from the tree and check out the hall. A lot of apples. So if someone asks me where I get my chaga, I get it in places like this. There's one trunk. There you have it. So here we're at the spring. I'm just gonna fill up some mason jars here. That was a long day of foraging. I'm gonna show you guys what we got here. So, got the spring water. I got a six uh, two liter glass mason jars. I definitely prefer drinking my water out of the glass instead of the plastic, but we do have quite a few plastic bottles filled as well. Then over here we got uh, the apples that we picked from that tree you saw me climbing. We must have 30 or 40 pounds here. It's, it's a pretty big box. Um, then we got some of these crab apples here. I tried them earlier in the season and they weren't very good, but we went back to the tree and uh, they were really red, ripened up, so they're actually sweet now. They're pretty awesome. And I'm just going to come over here. We got uh, the chaga that we harvested there. Um, must have at least five or ten pounds here. Um, I need to start curing some because I'm almost out. Um, we also got some wintergreen leaves here. You can make some tea with it. It tastes kind of minty. You guys know what wintergreen is. Um, and then afterwards when I came home, I went over to the garden to uh, harvest a few things as well. I'm going to make a salad tonight. Um, these are some cilantro seeds I harvested and you know we got some dill seeds and arugula seeds here that have been sitting here for a little while. Um, over in here these are some tomatoes that have like split open because of all the rain we got. I got an indigo rose tomato here, there's actually another one down there. I don't know what this guy is and then I got a bunch of uh, currant tomatoes and some, some kind of heirloom cherry tomato there as well. The bigger ones are the heirloom cherry. Um, so I'm just going to let those ripen up basically. and. Uh, over here we got some herbs for my salad tonight. I got a bunch of parsley. I got some oregano. Then over here I got some lime basil. If you guys have ever had it, it's like really good. And then uh, we got some regular basil over here. Um, we got some nasturtium flowers and some nasturtium leaves. I don't ever see people eating nasturtium on YouTube, so hopefully this is new for you guys. And uh, here's some, some thyme as well. I got a bit of thyme. Then I got some cucumbers I'm going to throw on my salad. And I also have some uh, purple chard and purple kale leaves here that I'm going to throw in my salad. I don't really do too much chard and kale. Um, I like the purple stuff because it's got the anthocyanin molecules in it that give it the purple pigment. They're apparently really good for fighting all kinds of diseases. Um, the other thing I was going to say is herbs, man. They have like a lot more nutrients in them than, than your chard and kale. So it's something like, I know oregano is like 10 times the amount of calcium as kale uh, per weight. So I just go crazy on the herbs more than... Uh, the, the big leafy greens 
Over here we got the tomatoes I'm going to put in my salad. We got two beef steaks that are kind of going bad. I'm just going to cut out the bad parts. That's all right. I got these uh, sweet yellow ones. These sweet heirlooms are they're awesome. I don't I forgot what they're called. I got these ones that look like a pear. I got a tomatillo there for my buddies at Field Good Farm. Um, I got some cherry tomatoes down there. These are the current tomatoes from my garden that uh, are ripe. Like I said, I'm going to let the other ones ripen up. And then uh, I got some golden berries here. Some are still in the husk, just so you guys can see. And then I got a couple cloves of garlic I'm going to put in there. Over here I got a couple stalks of celery, some green onion, a few uh, heirloom carrot greens as well as an heirloom carrot. Um, then as for uh, spices here, I got some cumin seed powder I'm going to put on, as well as some cardamom powder and some smoked paprika. And then to get some iodine, I got some applewood smoked dulse here. I also got uh, some black cumin seeds for some fat that I'm going to put in. I got a bit of Himalayan salt. I'm definitely not going to put all of that in. Um, then I got a bit of olive oil and uh, I'm going to put some fresh squeezed lemon juice in there. So let's just give you guys an idea of what I put in my salad and uh, what I do with my stuff from the market. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, talk to you guys next time.